Hi everyone, today I'll be taking a look and comparing the Astrox 77 Tour and Play alongside the top end big brother or sister, the Astrox 77 Pro. In many of my previous videos, I have done the full comparison of Pro versus Tour versus Game and versus Play model rackets, but this certainly is the first series that we have a middle of the range missing. In this instance, the Game model is missing from this lineup. However, as usual, we can see all three rackets here in different price ranges, obviously with the Pro at the top, followed by the Tour before ending with the Play. If you want to check out my in-depth review of the Astrox 77 Pro, check out this video here. This video is also sponsored by Badminton Bay. In terms of visual differences, there's not a lot of them at first glance, but I've quickly noticed that the 77 Pro have four sets of single pass grommets at the top of the racket, whereas the 77 Tour and Play have the more commonly seen three sets of single pass grommets at the top. Additionally, upon closer inspection, I would normally consider all three rackets to have the top half of the racket frame recess, but when laid side by side, the Tour model seems to have an extra grommet width in terms of the recessed area. So I'm taking it as 55% recessed area for the 77 Tour and 50% recessed for the Pro and Play. I certainly don't think these are going to make a significant difference to how the rackets are going to play. Additional differences I can see here are the cone caps above the racket handles. The Pro and Tour model have the same Energy Boost Cap Plus design on them, whereas the Play model have a more basic cone applied. As usual, the Pro model is made in Japan, the Tour model in Taiwan and the Play racket from China. I do have to say the finishing quality on all three rackets are really good and pretty consistent. Well done to your next there. Remember to protect your precious badminton rackets with the premium racket protection tape from ckyw.com forward slash shop. Save yourself a lot of heartache before they get chipped or scratched free delivery worldwide. In terms of measurements, I'll start from the frame and we can see that all three rackets have almost identical frame heights and widths. They are around 23.8 centimeters in height and 18.7 centimeters in width. Frame thickness is slightly different. The Pro model came in at just under 10 millimeters and 9.9 millimeters, but the Tour model was even thinner at 9.8 millimeters, whilst the Play model was the thickest at 10.3 millimeters. In terms of handle length, the Pro model turns out to have the shortest handle at only 16 and a half centimeters, the other two rackets have the handle lengths at 17 centimeters. If we move upwards and look at the shaft lengths of the rackets, they were consistently getting shorter as we go down the models. The Pro has the longest shaft at 22 centimeters and it goes down to 21 and a half centimeters for the Tour before ending at 21 centimeters for the Play. Shaft diameter also increased from the models with the Pro coming in at 7.1 millimeters before the Tour and Play models coming in at 7.2 millimeters in diameter. Here are some precision scan measurement numbers for those of you who are interested. For stringing, both the Tour and Play models come strung with factory strings and I would strongly recommend you guys to restring the rackets with your usual favourite string and tension too. I do also want to remind that if you're stringing your rackets yourself, you might want to be a bit more careful when you're removing strings from your racket, as some of the grommets came off when I took the string off the 77 Play. This can happen when the grommets don't sit as snug on the holes that are drilled. If they do come off, just simply take the grommet off the string and replace them back onto the frame, no big issue. I restrung all three rackets with my usual string and tension of Aerobite at 27 by 29 pounds and had no problems at all. All three rackets here are in my usual 4U G5 spec and all three 4U models are rated to 28 pounds in tension and 3U will go up to 29 pounds. Thank you to Badminton Bay for sponsoring this video with over 15 years of online badminton selling experience as well as having served customers from over 100 countries Badminton Bay is a trusted source for genuine high quality badminton equipment, supplying popular brands such as Apex, Abros, Fellet, Max, as well as Yonex. There's always an opportunity to save more when you purchase Badminton Bay's combo category badminton rackets as well as their store wide discount too. There's also free shipping for selected countries when you exceed a minimum purchase value. Perfect when you're looking to get someone a gift. Badminton Bay's large range of frequent new arrivals of badminton rackets will have something for everyone there. Badminton Bay prides itself with their customer service and guaranteed delivery ensuring you get the right support with your purchase. You will also get additional discounts when shopping with Badminton Bay using my discount code of CKYW 
www.badmintonbay.com today. If we now look at the playing field, and we'll certainly take the 77 Pro as the benchmark here. The 77 Pro is a very versatile racket where it's pretty much an all-rounder. It's smooth and has decent amount of head weight, not overpoweringly head heavy, but easy enough to get good power whenever you need it. Yes, it's not a super stiff feeling racket as it's got a medium stiff feeling, so it's pretty user friendly and easy to play with. You can see why this racket is so popular with many players, including the top level pros. For the 77 Tour, I was very surprised initially at how close it felt compared to the 77 Pro in my first testing session. It was so close that this is what I had down on my notes when I came off court. I think if I was blindfolded in that session, I don't think I would be able to pick apart both the Pro and the Tour, especially when both cone caps are similar too. However, I was since able to notice a slight difference in terms of the overall stiffness of the Tour, where it was just a touch stiffer compared to the Pro. The Pro's more premium materials and construction methods just gave it that extra edge in terms of feeling better and also that bit more pliable compared to the Tour, but that's just me being a bit picky. I generally recommend people to go for the Pro models if budget allows as you get the best feeling and performance, but in this instance I would happily recommend the Tour if you're looking to save some cash. However, when we then look at the 77 Play, the difference between the 77 Play compared to the other two higher end models are certainly quite pronounced. Don't get me wrong, the Play is always designed to be the entry level racket where it's not made with the more premium materials or manufacturing techniques which are used to produce the higher end models. At the same time, you could often get two or three play rackets for the price of one Pro model racket, so you do have to keep that in mind. In saying that, the 77 Play when compared to the Pro and Tour felt a bit head heavier and not as user friendly as it felt a bit stiffer too. It did lack that excitement factor which was present in the Pro and Tour models. In simpler terms, it just felt a bit less tuned compared to the higher end models and have simple characteristics, just a bit more rigid in its response compared to the Pro's more refined feel. I've been trying to think of an analogy to best describe the difference in feel. It just feels like the play here responds to input and feel in 2D whilst the Pro is in 3D and react and responds better to finer inputs and provide the appropriate responses. I guess it's similar when we're comparing a basic big pen to an expensive, well-weighted fountain pen. They both get the job done, but you get more enjoyment out of the more refined product. In summary, this was again another good batch of offering from Yonex as they trickled down the Astro 77 Pro model, keeping in mind that the higher the price point, the more premium feel and response you get and all three Astrox 77s performed well for their price point. What other new model racket do you think Yonex will be launching next? I'll see you in the next one.